I think I was interested first of all in uh, in the general kind of idea of it. I thought the uh, the idea of the gnomes and that way of uh, of telling the story was quite fun, and uh, and was kind of uh, pretty imaginative and interesting and unique. And had been obviously as an extension of Romeo and Juliet, which again is kind of is fun and an imaginative way of entering it. It just seemed like a good idea to look at that and do. Sherlock gnomes the same way, and um, so I kind of I was sort of first attracted by, I think just the uh, just the humour of it, and uh, and the kind of uh, the slightly sort of irreverent kind of nature of it, which I thought was quite fun. And then also I thought that it was just very unique and uh, and compelling in its uh, in its imagination uh, and uh, different uh, very interesting kind of locations and. Uh, and characters and storytelling and I thought those were quite fun things to uh, get involved in. The main new characters that <clears throat> that turn up in this story are of course Sherlock Gnomes and um, and and Watson, his trusty right hand man, and uh, who I play, and um, and they are assisting Romeo and Juliet um, in discovering the whereabouts of these disappeared gnomes. Um, and then their relationships start to have these sort of interesting parallels, these interesting parallels between Nomi and Julia and Sherlock Gnomes and Watson. And that's really, amidst everything else and all the adventure and excitement, what the film starts to explore is these very interesting uh, parallel relationships. Watson is, um, as everybody knows, the uh, trusted right-hand man to, um, to Sherlock gnomes or Sherlock Holmes and um, and so that relationship is pretty similar in this in this dynamic um, except for it's sort of I think the the difference is that it's explored quite fully um, what their what their dynamic is and what their relationship is and what their friendship is and what friendship sort of really means in those kind of power dynamics where somebody is sometimes more important than the other person and what the ideas of um, of sort of mutual respect in those circumstances are. And they end up having this quite complicated relationship as they try and struggle through their own relationship in and, am and amongst, you know, having this kind of wild adventure and trying to, you know, locate these disappeared garden gnomes, but, um, but also deal with, with um, their own sort of interpersonal dynamics, which is really... Uh, really fun to play and um, and really great themes to explore. It's a really fun cast, you know, and it's really um, every every character is really well, you know, if you forgive the expression, really well drawn, you know, and uh, and they they're played excellently by uh, by a numerous brilliant actors. So joining that kind of group is, you know, very exciting. Um, and it's been fun to try and carve out Watson as well through all of that, and uh, and you know find a kind of new character within those dynamics, and uh, and I think that that's quite fun to do. And you know these characters get to play the old, these new characters get to play a lot with these, the older characters and the sort of established characters, and and I, and uh, you know it's a bit of a challenge, you know, which is a really nice thing. And you know you're kind of uh, you know you sort of want to get get your character out there basically and uh, and get them in the mix which is fun obviously there are m major differences you know between doing live action and doing uh, um, voice work in this way but um but because you're relying on your on voice so much you know um and really trying to find all of that sort of co the colorful nature of a character through voice is uh, just presents its own unique challenges, you know, that you're kind of, um, you are by definition sort of restricted into a kind of, into a certain um, mode. But in that, you know, there's an extraordinary amount of freedom and uh, an amazing amount of sort of choices and directions to go in. And that I think is a really, um, a really fascinating part of the process and how closely one has to work with 
uh, director and a writer and you know in terms of just trying to find the ways in which this character these characters sort of first of all separate themselves from each other and and then also how they define themselves um, and their characteristics um, <clears throat> within the story and then you know you're relying as well then very heavily on the animation side of everything uh, to bring out the kind of the sort of fully realized character um, and being able to not focus on the kind of physical aspects of the character, but just to focus on the vocal quality of the character is is really liberating as well. And um, and that's it's so wonderful to be part of that kind of collaborative process because it has the potential to constantly surprise you as you start to see more and more of the film come together. Well, I think Watson is very humorous, you know, so he's very self-effacing, you know, initially. <laughs> and, uh, um, but he doesn't, but it's not a kind of bland self-effacing kind of character, you know, it's not, uh, it's done with a lot of humor and a lot of passion uh, and a lot of engagement. And I, and I definitely like that about him and, and being able to play something that's very sort of, has a humor that's understated and has a, a uh, uh, these characteristics that are quite muted for some of it, and then um, to see him kind of kind of grow in in confidence and uh, uh, and that be played out in his relationship with Sherlock and that relationship dynamic, I think is quite um, is quite engaging, and I think it's something that I definitely found that I could relate to quite easily, and I think a lot of people will relate to it, and just in various different ways. Um, and in the nature of, of of friendships like that. I hope that audiences get out of it is this um, a great story, you know, uh, a great story, uh, fun, engaging characters, and um, these really interesting uh, underlying themes, uh, timely themes, I think. Um, and so uh, I think there's a kind of there's a really full package, you know, and it's <clears throat> and it's done I think in a in a subtle way, you know, and without too much sort of bombast, but um, but pretty thrilling. <laughs>